So good morning, everybody. Today we have Prathamish Mule with ourselves. He has cracked the Microsoft internship and he is in IIT Guwahati. He is pursuing computers and, and electronics. So um, we were actually in the same coaching in 11th and 12th. So that's how I know him. And today he'll be sharing all his insights, how he cracked the Microsoft internships and what all do you need to do if you want to crack the internship. So Prathamish, you can quickly introduce yourself. Hello, uh, I am Prathamesh. Uh, I am from IIT Guwahati and uh, I am from Electronics and Communication Department. Uh, I live in Pune and currently I have completed my third year. Okay, so first of all, I think um, everybody wants to know like how is the selection process? Like, uh, where the, was there a written round first and then the interview or how was it? There are actually two types of selections process. The first one is through the engaged mentorship program in which there is a short selection test uh, at first and then the selected students are mentored for a month by Microsoft employees themselves. And uh, uh, they do a small project like uh, in our time, the project was about cloning the Microsoft Teams app. Uh, we all have used that app for our uh, online classes and all. So uh, we were asked to make a clone for that app, uh, which would replicate the... Uh, features that that app provides and then based on our project uh, they would uh, ask uh, provide us with a direct internship offer or uh, an offer uh, for in direct interview mm -hmm. so you would have also made that and then what happened yeah mm -hmm. so uh, after uh, i completed my app i was uh, selected for the interview rounds and then there were two interviews uh, based on dsa for that and then mm -hmm. uh, there is also a second way of selection like Microsoft comes to many of the campuses and uh, in an on-campus test, there are a few uh, DSA questions for the first round and then there is a interview test like any other internship hiring process. Right, right. Okay. And so were there any eligibility criteria like you have to maintain 9 plus CGPA or something like that? nine plus is a too high higher bar to set and all but yeah uh, there is an eligibility criteria like for the engagement mentorship program you need to have a cgpa of greater than or equal to seven and uh -huh. all branches are eligible for the engagement mentorship program mm -hmm. but uh when uh, microsoft visited our campus for on them on campus internship uh, the only uh, eligible branches were cse maths and computing uh, ec and triple e uh, and it also had an eligibility criteria of 7 plus CGPA. Okay, so 7 plus is enough. And in IIT, even, yeah. so how, how is it like in IIT? Scoring that much is possible or? Uh, it's not that hard to score 7 plus. Like uh, if you study even one day before the exam, like you just have to study at least a day. Then you can mm -hmm. easily get a 7 plus CG. Right, right, right. Okay. So when did you start studying for this, like DSA and all these things, coding part? Like, was it from the first yeah, year uh, or when? No, in the first year, I was mostly focused on changing my branch. I was initially in mechanical branch. So uh, it mm -hmm. would have be better if I would go to some uh, other, uh, like uh, some circuital branches. So mm -hmm. I got a branches to uh, electronics and communication. From the second mm -hmm. year, that is at the uh, middle of my third semester, I started practicing DSA. I generally practiced from uh, digs for digs or uh, searched up random YouTube videos about the topics that I knew. I asked for the topics from my seniors. And uh, mm -hmm. I also had a course in my fourth semester uh, in mm -hmm. my minor degree. I have a minor in computer science and engineering. And they also uh, taught very well uh, about uh, higher concepts of DSA. Okay. And did you refer any websites such as Geetcode or anything? Yeah, uh, for practicing problems, I first in, uh, started practicing on code forces, uh, but uh, those like the contest initially were a bit uh, tricky for me. So I uh, I started practicing on interview bit and lead code and then I switched back to code forces again. I okay. How many problems would you say uh, should be enough if one wants to like crack this kind of internship? And level also. To be honest, there is no limit. Like uh, mm -hmm. 
you can solve like uh, you can try to solve a problem uh, two to three problems every day if you have around like seven to eight months remaining or you uh, if you have some uh, a few fewer months you have to uh, solve uh, around like five to six problems every day and uh, i would suggest mm-hmm. like uh, around 1000 to 1500 would be good enough yeah and uh, i think another thing needs to be clarified over here in starting it is not that easy to solve problems like the pace yeah. increases as you go forward so in the beginning how yep. was it like in a day how many were you able to solve problems to be honest i had a major boost because i come from emprathas academy and i was really good at maths i have i had done olympiads and stuff so i mm-hmm. uh, i had a major boost that because maths is a primary thing requiring coding mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. that helped me a lot so i, I started with two prob- two to three problems which generally people i uh, don't so i would suggest uh, at the start one problem would should be good enough but mm-hmm. uh, uh, increasing the speed is much more important and yeah, also uh, practicing relevant problems like right. uh, it happens like some of my friends used to practice 800 900 level, uh, rating mm-hmm. problems on code forces which mm-hmm. might be useless because they are too easy so uh, right. uh, tip uh, start from uh, 1100 to 1200 and gradually increase that to around 1900 mm-hmm. the level of the problems difficulty should keep on increasing as you go ahead yeah Yeah. Okay, and just for the audience a bit background, uh, M Prakash is basically a great coaching in Pune. The selection process is very hard, and they don't hire all the students in eleventh and twelfth. I think they take only one twenty students. I was also in that. We both uh, know each other through that only. So yeah, basically it is a great coaching, and even they have like very good record in uh, in RM uh, all the Olympiads and all. Uh, I think Prathamesh can tell the audience a little better better about the Olympiads as he knows. And he had yeah, I think he had cracked also a few rounds. So yeah, go ahead. yeah uh, basically like uh, there are uh, multiple rounds to olympiads the first one is the regional round uh, called rmo over there around 30 students from the region of maharashtra and goa are selected for the next round uh, there are six uh, questions to be solved in 3 hours now you can judge the difficulty of those questions by this and uh, there are th- like two geometry questions one number theory and something like that is the pattern uh, the questions uh, you have to uh, like you have to be really good at maths to be able to crack uh, those type of questions so uh, emprathas academy really helped me with that and th- that's uh, i got a boost over there and it's helping me even right now yeah. and i think it even helps you in the syllabus in the first year because most of the things that are covered over yeah. there maths and all things we had already done yeah that's great 